You. You're a vampire. And you are now too, so you better put your time left on private. I never asked you to turn me into a vampire. You shouldn't have done that without my permission. I'm sorry. I don't want to live for all eternity. Can I borrow a piece of paper? Sure, here. Ouch! Paper cut. It's bleeding a little. That, uh, that looks pretty good. What the f- Why are you looking at me like that? I gotta go. What's going on? My mouth feels weird. Thanks. Need your help. Oh, now you're talking to me again? I thought you were mad at me. I am, but I need your help getting rid of these. There's only one way to get rid of them, and that's to feed. Feed? They're releasing how many guys all the girls like today. Why aren't they releasing how many girls all the guys like? Seems a little sexist if you ask me. Whoa, Cynthia, you like 20 guys? Come on, they're all celebrities, mostly. Brianna, you don't like anyone? I just haven't found a guy I like yet. What's wrong with that? How do you not have any guys you like? I'm not sure. I'm gonna make it my personal mission today to find you a guy you like. Look over there, it's Chad, head of the school soccer team. I'm not really into jocks. Maybe you're more into an artsy type. Look, it's Xavier, lead in the school musical. I don't know. It's still at zero. This isn't working. Men, fall in line. What's going on? We put together a presentation with all the finest men in our town. This isn't necessary. Come out, guy number one. Please just stop. I don't like any of the guys you show me because I don't like guys at all. I like girls. Look at this loser. She can't even talk until she gets a kiss from her soulmate. Ha ha ha! What are you writing, loser? Did... Did you just curse at me in writing? Hey, you! Are you coming to Kevin's party with me? Come on, please come. You'll be my plus one. I don't want to go by myself. You think they're going to bully you? It's okay. I'll look out for you. They won't bother you, I promise. Don't be so awkward. Here, have a drink. <coughs> She's choking! <coughs> Quick, someone give her mouth to mouth before she dies! <coughs> I'll help her. I can breathe! Um, mouth to mouth doesn't actually do anything if someone's choking. Wait! I can talk? Who gave me mouth to mouth? Where did he go? <gasps> Quick, cover your eyes. There must be a black cat around. We don't want to get bad luck. Thanks, that was a close one. Who was down to play a game of cards for money? I don't know. I've never actually played cards before. Actually, you know what? I'm in. And I have a king. Try and beat that. An ace. No way. Another ace? Alright, boys. Here's your cards back. I had a lot of fun playing. Seriously? You took all of our money. I know. Wasn't it great? Yeah, it was great. And then I took all of their money. Wait, don't take a further step. There's a crack. Let's jump over it. It's a good idea. Woo! Mom! Mommy, are we almost at the ice cream shop? <laughs> Hurry, cover your mouth and nose. Come on, sweetie, we have to get out of here now. Huh? Mommy, why did you tell me to get out of there? I thought we were getting ice cream. If you hear laughing, you must cover your nose and mouth with the cloth I gave you. This cloth was created to fight against the laughing disease. Laughing is highly contagious and incurable. If you catch it, you'll die. Mommy, why didn't you wake me up for school? <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> Help! Help someone! Sweetie, what's going on? Why are you outside? Mommy's inside. She has the laughing disease. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll take care of Mommy. Good morning, Dad. I'm off to school now. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Good morning, Dad. I'm off to school now. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> How's my best friend today? My dad has a laughing disease. That means both my parents are gone. I can't go home tonight. Do you think I can stay at your place? I have to go. Where are you going? Your dad has the laughing disease. You could have caught it. I can't risk it. Stay away. Class, does anyone know the answer to? <laughs> Everyone out. Students, stay out here. I'll take care of Miss Applewood. That was so scary. Are you doing okay, Bree? I thought you didn't want me near you. In case I'm contagious. You know what I said? I was just worried. <laughs> Babe, is everything okay? Jake, it, it's my best friend, Sophie. She has laughing disease. We have to get rid of her. 
<laughs> You're laughing. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. My best friend, Sophie, she has laughing disease. We have to get rid of her. <laughs> You're laughing. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Please, please, I don't have it. I don't have the laughing disease. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm laughing. Goodbye, world. <laughs> <laughs> stop! Stop laughing if you want to live! Stop what? Were you laughing? No! No! I was just practicing in case I did catch the laughing disease! The laughing disease is incurable. If you catch it, you're doomed. Now get to class. <laughs> stop! Stop laughing! I knew it. I knew you had the laughing disease. Say bye-bye, Brianna. No, no, I'm not infected, I'm telling you! Say bye-bye, Brianna. No, no, I'm not infected, I'm telling you! Look at my face. I'm not laughing. No, I saw you! You were laughing! You must have been seeing things. <laughs> tell me! <laughs> tell me the cure for the laughing disease! <laughs> I, I don't know! Let go of me! Come with us, Brianna! Where am I? Who are you? What do you want from me? We need to know. How you got cured from the laughing disease. What's the secret? Look, I don't know how I cured the disease. If I knew, I'd tell you. Let me see your arm. What are you doing? We're injecting you with the laughing disease so we can know your secret. No! <laughs> Everyone, put your mask on so you don't catch the laughing disease. She's laughing too much. We have to get rid of her or else we'll catch the laughing disease. Have you guys ever thought that maybe the laughing disease isn't deadly? You just kill everyone who gets it, because you're afraid. <laughs> Happy 14th birthday, sweetie! Thank you! What is this? That's your soulmate clue. You're 14 now. That means every year on your birthday, you're going to receive a clue that will lead you to finding your soulmate. What does it say? Your soulmate has brown hair and brown eyes. They're the same age as you, but live in a different city. That's not very specific. Don't worry, you're going to receive a clue every birthday and the clues will get more specific. Happy 15th birthday! Your soulmate's favorite color is blue. I love blue too. He's often seen volunteering at his local shelter in his city. Now I just need to figure out which city to live in. Happy 16th birthday! You'll learn about your soulmate's past here. And then it shows an address. You can't go to the address. It's not safe. Mom, that's not fair! I said no! I'm sorry, Mom. I have to go! Mom, what's on my face? Oh no, you got an X. You need to cover it and put a check mark right away or else they're going to get you. Who? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You got a check mark. I've located an X. Please don't do this! Everyone report immediately for your symbol check. So, what happens if you have an X? Those with X's are eliminated to stop overpopulation. You're only safe if you have a check mark. Next, please. I'm next. Don't worry. You have a check mark. You'll be fine. You're good. Next. I said next. Are you crazy? What are you doing here? Why would you go online knowing you have an X? I thought maybe I wouldn't get caught. Of course you would get caught. Who are you? You have an X too? So, where are you taking? This is the X's hiding spot. I made it my personal duty to protect all X's. Excuse me, miss. May I sit here? Yes, of course you can. Why would she have an X? She's just a baby. The X's were given at random. No reason and no sense. Oh no, they found us. We have to leave immediately. Your Majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign, begging for more words. What a pity. A wordless beggar. Feed him to the dog. <laughs> Your Majesty, please, help my family. You only had six words left, and you wasted them on me. Help me. Your Majesty. You have infinity words, and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words, and you'd still have infinity. And why would I do that? I run a palace, not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. 
<laughs> go! Guards, a witch stole my words. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, your majesty. I cannot. Hello, queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, your majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word thief. Don't worry, I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl? She's safe and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, your majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. Hello, darling. This is for you. Infinity words? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. You're trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Your majesty. Look, I'll give you words. As many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. Take this. Your crown? Take over as queen. <laughs> Mommy, gummy. What's this? You pick whether you want to be dating or married at 20. I want to be married to a prince. Mommy, why do I have a bandage on my finger? Hey, Jake. You have a bandage on your finger, too? Yeah, I do. I guess you also chose to be married at 20. Yeah, I did. Good choice. It just sucks we can't remove these bandages until we're 20. I know, right? But my birthday's tomorrow. Wow, lucky you. You're officially 20 in 3, 2, 1. Happy birthday! Now you can finally remove your bandage. A ring. Choose to speak to your soulmate or choose to speak to your mom. My mom passed away when I was three years old. How could I speak to her? Hello, sweetie. Mom? Mom, is that really you? Yes, it is really me. I'm so regretful that I couldn't be in your life more. It really is you. There's so much I've wanted to tell you. Hey, Mom? Yes, sweetie? I have a date tonight. I really like him. Aw, that's wonderful. Will you help me pick an outfit for it later? I've always dreamed of my mom helping me get ready for my first date. Of course. Mom, these questions are really hard. Could you help me? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my mom. She's dead. I got a choice this morning to talk to either my mom or my soulmate. Brianna, I don't want to tell you this, but that is not your mom. Brianna, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but that is not your mom. I am your real mother. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't even know me. You're right. You think you know my own mother better than I do? You're just never happy for me. Brianna, wait. Ella's mom. What are you doing here? Ella never came home from school yesterday. Since you're her best friend, I thought you might know where she went. I don't. I'm sorry. Jake, we have to cancel our date tonight. My best friend's missing. I'm really worried about her. That's no problem. Get some rest. You've been talking to Jake a lot recently. Yeah, I really like him. Honey, hurry downstairs. I have a surprise for you. Surprise! Ella, Jake... I don't think they're breathing. Since you like them so much, I brought them to you. Brianna, did you take my blush? Wait, before you speak, I want you to know how important it is for you to never lie. Because when you lie, you'll forget all memory of the person you lied to. Okay, I took it. I'll be back, sweetie. I'm just going to get some milk. Okay, daddy. But, little girl, what are you doing in my house? Go back to your own house. You don't remember me? Daddy lied. Okay, I'll go back to my own house. 
All right, Mom, I'm heading to school. Listen, just hurry up and send the child support. I need it. Who are you talking to? Your father. Father? But I don't have a dad. I've never had a dad. Fine. Don't tell me then. Class, I'd like you to meet our new principal, Principal Steven. Brianna, so nice to finally meet you. Where did this kiss mark come from? Someone must have kissed your soulmate's cheek. Anything that touches your soulmate's face becomes permanent on yours. So you're saying a random girl's kiss mark is going to be on my face forever? It's really not coming off. Yeah, that's kind of how permanent works. I'm going to send him a message. That an angry face emoji? That'll be on his face forever. Not my problem. He should have thought about that before he kissed a girl who wasn't his soulmate. Brianna, you have something on your face. That must be from my soulmate. I think he's trying to tell me he's sorry. I should forgive him. What are you putting on your face now? It's my address. I'm going to put it on my face so my soulmate can find me. You shouldn't give him your address. You don't even know him. What if he's dangerous? Come on, it's my soulmate. You really think he'd be dangerous? That must be my soulmate. Did you send your address to Mr. James? That must be my soulmate. Did you send your address to Mr. James? You made a big mistake. Your address is permanently on Mr. James' face. You will have to wear a mask from now on. I'm really sorry. I wasn't thinking. I just really wanted to meet my soulmate. If you try and contact him again, you'll pay. Yes, sir. Brianna, you got another mark on your face from your soulmate. Aw, oh, it's Hard Eyes. Did you meet him? No, some big scary guy came to my house saying, If you try to contact Mr. James, you'll pay. The Mr. James? Who? No one's ever seen Mr. James before, but allegedly he's the son of one of the most dangerous mafia bosses in the world. Brianna, look at your face. He must need help. What should I do? Nothing. It's dangerous. Come with me. Wow, Brianna, you look super fine today. I do? Totally. Want to be my date to prom? Yes, of course, Chad. <laughs> I can't believe she actually bought it. <laughs> Dude, I know. Imagine me with a girl like her. Brianna? Chad. I didn't even recognize you. Want to be my date to prom? For real this time. Of course. The prom king and queen goes to Chad and Brianna. I can't accept this crown. Because Chad, I would never want to be the queen of a man like you. Rejected! Only respect in women you find attractive isn't respect. Good morning, mom. Good morning, grandma. I am dying. I will be gone by tomorrow. Goodbye, grandma. Everyone must go at some point. After high school, I would like to marry you for financial stability. I agree. It's the most logical thing to do. It is. Another day of learning has been completed. Hey! Hey you! Yes you! Do you know what an emotion is? Happiness, anger, love! Emotion? Are you making up a word? No, they're all real. Do you know why people get married? Yes, to repopulate the earth and for financial stability. It's for love. Man with emotion has been spotted. Oh no, I've been spotted. I don't have much time left. Take these tapes. It'll explain all the basics on emotions and there's more where that came from. The tapes will lead you where you need to go. Please, don't shoot. Step right up and get your bag of air. I will take them. All of them. But your majesty, that will be ten wagons full of air. What about the townspeople? Who cares? I need all the air I can get. Your Majesty, the townspeople are worried because you bought all of the bagged air. They're starting to run low on oxygen. I am the Queen. Is my oxygen not more important than everyone else's? <coughs> Ma'am, can I please have a bag of air? I can't breathe. No, you're small. Why would you need air? Attention townspeople, there's been a recall in the recent batch of air. There has been found traces of poison inside the air. In small amounts, you should be fine, but overconsumption may be deadly. <coughs> Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. 
Mmm, lunch time. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, Mr. Wolf, please! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, Bestie. Stay safe. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. Mom! Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just sleepy. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, Bestie. Stay safe. Me too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. <laughs> Mom! Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just sleepy. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you can never take the tape off. It must stay on forever. You were born with a curse. If you speak, you die. Look at the loser tape mouth over there. She's looking this way. What if she can hear us? Don't worry, she can't hear. Oh, you're so right. She obviously can't hear if she can't speak. Hey, tape mouth. I mean, Brianna. I was wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the movies with me after school. <laughs> Dude, she actually bought it. She's so gullible. Hey, Tape Mouth, let's trip her. <laughs> Aw, poor Tape Mouth. I don't care anymore. I don't want to live like this. Why did I just get money? I don't care anymore. I don't want to live like this. Why did I just get money? Honey, you're home from school early. Mom, you lied to me. Speaking doesn't kill me. It gives me money. Shh, don't speak. I did this to protect you. Do you really think the government will let you live freely with this kind of power? Now put the tape back on and never speak again. Hey, girly. What? What are you doing? Hey. Since when can you speak and why did you just get money? I have a secret to tell you, but you have to pinky promise you won't tell anyone about it. Of course, Bestie. Pinky promise. Every time I speak, I get money. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. We've located the girl. We know your secret. Hmm? Huh? You're gonna have to come with us. Come on! <gasps> Sup. Hello, young one. Oh no, I'm dead! How did I die? Drowning. I was having a who could hold your breath the longest competition with my friends. I won. Did you? So I can just choose whatever? Of course. Well, obviously- Wait, I wouldn't be so sure. Do you like parties? Yeah. Dancing? Okay. Hot guys with six packs? Oh yeah. Eternal suffering? Ooh. You just really had to throw in eternal suffering, didn't you? Honesty is the best policy. Come with me. I can offer you no judgment and eternal peace. 
Oh, boring. You can't be quiet for one second, can you? This is why you're my least favorite child. Really, Dad? What if I just... Oh! <laughs> Mommy, why are you crying? It's your baby sister. She's not going to make it. The doctor says she only has 100 heartbeats left. Here, she can have half of mine. I don't need that many. Honey, wait. Hey, girl. Hey, I uh, gotta go. Hey, wait. You know I can tell when something's off about you. What's wrong? I only have enough heartbeats to last me one more day. Here, I'm giving you half. No, you really shouldn't have done that. Now you're gonna live half as long as you should. Come on. Now how could I live this world without you? Mom, I'm home! Hurry, we have to go to the hospital right now. Mom's sick. Mom, what happened? It's my heartbeats. How much do you have left? 3,000. So, I'll give you half. Honey, please, live a long life. For me. No, I can't live without you. You have to. Goodbye. Mommy, I promise one day, I'm gonna be famous. Brianna, I told you not to make any promises. Now you'll have a permanent mark until you fulfill your promise. Does anyone have a hair tie I can borrow? Yeah, here. Just promise me you'll give it back. Yes, of course. I promise. Sup, babe. Hey. I got you flowers. Wow, they're beautiful. Thank you. I love you so much. Promise me one day we'll get married. I promise. What university are you applying to? Harvard, of course. Um, you don't know? Know what? You can't get into Harvard with any unfulfilled promises. They're very prestigious. I gotta go. I gotta get rid of all these marks. Is that even possible? I promise you, it is. <laughs>